Sophisticated work in terms of uh, complexity, but uh, also it is a, a robot which can be a little uh, fragile and uh, which does not totally respond immediately. Anyway, it works well. You know, there is a kind of dialogue mm -hmm. which between is, a person, and which, yeah, exactly, which can be developed with uh, the person. And he is a little disturbed when there are too many people. So it's better to play one by one. He comes and uh, try to to make to establish a connection with, with you. He has very simple sensors, you can see like this. So the sense he sends you 
very catch your distance. And, um, and there is a software which uh, triggers this movement. Mm -hmm. So I think at the end it's much more uh, comment, a double comment about relationship not to a machine, but to a kind of uh, autonomous object uh, which has its uh, own life, we would say its own about technology and uh, the performance, the value of performance in technology today. So there, has, uh, there are multi, multi level mm -hmm. works. They are not just. Uh, <laughs> it's brilliant. It's about paranoid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think about that? Um, that is frightening. Did you want to make a frightening, charming robot? Uh, you know, I think that people who, who think if someone finds that robot frightening, it says more about their own psychology uh, sure. than, about, uh, than about the robot. I think, I, I think the, the robot is a very polite, very gentle, you know? It's a very polite and gentle robot. It's designed that way, very uh, demure. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, if you, if you approach it, it will back away. No? It's, uh, it's uh, very gentle, like yeah. Sometimes you wear what, 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 Have you got a, a, a goal with the aesthetics of a robot that looks so... Every collage thing? Um, there's a, any number of goals. Uh, what I could say is that... Um, the robot is designed to interact with people according to a, a non-intellectual um, mode of bodily interaction. That's the entire purpose of the robot, and of course, that is extreme. That is in extreme opposition to the ideology or philosophy of most artificial intelligence robots, yeah, artificial intelligence. So in a way, it's a critical intervention in the discourses of artificial intelligence. Very intentional, but you have to remember this was designed 15 years ago and built 12 years ago. So you have to see it in the historical moment of, of, of robotics, the robotics and artificial intelligence debate of that period. And in that period, um, there was beginning to be a change because the paradigm of artificial intelligence was, was, uh, was becoming, uh, the, the problems were becoming clear. And a new kind of philosophy of robotics was uh, um, growing, of which Petit Mal is an expression. So, uh, Petit Mal has no kind of authoritative uh, model of the world. It's not designed around a paradigm of control. Mm. Yeah? Okay. It's, so it's a, if you look again at the history of robotics from this perspective, you find that it's very much informed by a kind of Cold War military paranoid yeah. mindset. Yeah? So um, the Petit Mal is completely opposed to that. Yeah. Petit Mal is First of all, it, it, does, it doesn't claim to have an authoritative and correct model of the world, and it has no history. That's why it's called Petit Mal, because it's always in the moment. It's in the here and now. Okay. It's like, oh, what is this now? <laughs> React. Oh, now I'm here. <laughs> React. So What's the world like the now? But there's no history of nope. remember in the previous yeah. gesture. Clear, yeah. clear. It, and, and uh, yeah, so it's a different philosophy of robotics, and it's based so there's two parts really, it's a kind of critique of the kind of militarism of artificial intelligence, mm. but also it's a, an attempt to build a machine which goes beyond the, the paradigm of data entry, which is basically the human-computer interaction paradigm, right? Okay. So my big argument is, okay, people say computers are intelligent, how intelligent is a technology which makes us learn a special language in order to communicate with it? That's a stupid technology. Mm. So if we need to communicate with a computer, we have to sit in a special position and press special buttons with special meanings and translate our desires into a kind of code that the computer understands. Well, that's a very primitive technology. So I want a technology that knows the way I am in the world, 
can interpret the way I am in the world and then can react in a way that I can read because my biology is attuned to certain kinds of things in the world. So with the physical movement of it, mm. yeah, you know, if I see you and you're like this, then I think, oh, he's tired, mm. he's depressed, right? And if I see you like this, <laughs> you know, then I think, oh, he's, you know, he's got some kind of control thing going on, you know? But if I see you, you know, kind of bouncing around, I think, oh, you're happy or you've had too much coffee. Yeah? <laughs> so the same, the, 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 the robot expresses similar physical dynamics. Mm. So you kind of read it, not because it's consciously reasoning, oh, now I show this kind of physical movement, it's a byproduct of the physics of the machine. Mm. So you get that movement and you think, oh, it's coming towards me. Or it, it does this, or you think, oh, it's hesitating. You know? So it's a kind of extracting maximum social intelligence out of the minimum of technology. Mm. Right, exactly. Mm. And so it becomes a kind of game where where I'm balancing the desire of people to project meaning onto the machine with the complete unreliability of the machine, which is constantly making mistakes. So there's a programming irrational in there? So no, 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 no. The, the programming is not irrational. The irrationality comes from the noisy environment and the simplicity of the senses. So the senses are making judgments about the world but they're not correct. Most of the time they're wrong. So then it reacts in a way that's not, seems not logical. But with robotics you always find you'd never need to introduce randomness. Because the world is so full of noise and randomness, you get all the randomness you want from the senses. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're very well. Yeah.